What's up, amigos? Today we're looking at the aer aerodynamics of a NACA 0012 airfoil at 12 degree angle attack at a random of 6 million. So this is part of our airfoil aerodynamics series. So this playlist here, this has a bunch of other aerodynamics of other airfoils at other angles of attack. So this, as I said, is 12 degrees and at this angle of attack for this NACA 0012. So it's a symmetrical airfoil with a thickness to cord ratio of 12%. And the lift coefficient is 1.24. The drag coefficient is 0.0212. Now the breakdown is that the pressure drag coefficient is 0.0156. The friction drag coefficient is 0.00566. So in other words, it's about three times the amount of pressure drag compared to friction drag, the coefficients wise. So three to one ratio, the drag coefficient is being made up primarily of the pressure drag at this um, the pressure drag coefficient at this angle of attack because now we're going to start seeing a little bit of um, wake to this airfoil compared to at other lower angles of attack. First of all, we have the pressure uh, distribution like cut through the airfoil. And so the top surface is the suction surface, obviously. And the pressure ranges from minus 5,000 to 5,000 pascals. I've had to adjust the bar because obviously the pressure is getting uh, greater or like the, the differences in terms of gauge are getting greater compared to the other low angles of attack. But you can see that pretty much like about 30% of the suction surface is producing a very low lift. And the bottom surface, there is a low, a high pressure, but it's not nearly as much as the low pressure on top gauge wise. And this is the pressure distribution over the airfoil. So this is effectively an infinite wing. There are no um, wingtip vortices, so there's no induced drag. And we can see that the pressure, as I mentioned, it covers, the low pressure covers about 25% of the cord and it recovers pretty quickly. Like you can see, once it gets to about the 25, 30% point, it recovers very quickly to be about zero gauge. Then underneath there is, again, fairly low pressure, but that happens, a very, fairly high pressure, sorry. But that happens very close to the leading edge. It's not far down the airfoil at all. And this is the velocity cut through the airfoil. And as I mentioned earlier, so the velocity goes from zero to 50, 150 meters per second. The free stream velocity is 90 meters per second. So compared to lines of attack where we had like 120 meters per second flows over the suction surface, now it's at 150. So the flow is accelerating a lot more. But as I mentioned earlier, where we had the higher pressure coefficient, pressure drag coefficient, that's because of this wake starting to form. We didn't really get that at lower angles of attack. And then we also have a low velocity near the uh, leading edge because that's a stagnation line there and it's steadily moving down the uh, pressure surface face there with increasing angle attack. And this is the velocity distribution over the airfoil surface. So this is actually the velocity in the first cell and then it's just um, like printed onto the surface because the flow over the surface is actually zero velocity, theoretically speaking. And you can see at the leading edge here, that's where the very high velocity is occurring, very high acceleration. And as we rotate this around, you can see that it, it gets almost to zero because that's where the wake is starting to happen near the trailing edge. On the other side though, you don't really get it going to zero. You get it still hovering around 90 or so. And then the, the um, stagnation line is very obvious. So that's it, make sure to like, subscribe and check out our other playlist and check out the Atmosphere Hawk. If you're doing experiments or CFD and you need experimental validation data, get the Atmosphere Hawk because it makes your experiments a lot more accurate, takes all the stress out of your experiments. So you're happy. Peace out, amigos. I'll link in the description for that, by the way. Peace out.